What do you believe are some of the craziest feats you can accomplish when it comes to playing fighting games? Do you think it's landing the Daigo Parry in Third Strike, or do you think it's completing the hardest combo trials in King of Fighters? Me personally, I believe one of the greatest things you can do is land a full team sweep in any team battle mode. Something that was made even harder in Street Fighter 6's team battle mode when you have the option to carry over health. That means any damage that one fighter does to you will carry over into your next match, healing only a minimal amount between sets. Landing a full team sweep here is a testament that you are just on a different level. And one of those players that is on that different level just happened to swing through the last time I hosted a team battle set. And this is what happened. Here we go. First match to start it off. Big guy started with the fireball game, but dumb stinker finds his way in. Huge jumping. My God, the pressure is crazy, but the defense was pretty good. Didn't panic. Hasn't hit a button until just then. I thought that was a cross for sure. I, I'm confused. Tore you out of the corner, but the follow-up is where you're going to get found. Fireball comes out. Got to keep him at that fireball range. But wait, maybe the maybe the mix-up is what really matters. Ken keeping him away. Doesn't want to go for any obvious fireballs. The wall! What seems so far is now so close. Bounces off of it. Takes a swig during the lag. Drives through. Tries to push a button, but JB just pieces him up. Big guy goes down, but that was a lot. That was a, definitely the look of a master rank, Jamie. That was a lot of buttons flying out. We're definitely looking at... Oh, Sir Kaz. Here we go. We sent another platinum after him. Somebody's going to have to dig deep. Land a couple DPs. No, oh, nice jump to get out. Has him in the corner. Drive it back. But the reaction was actually insane. The reaction was actually insane. I can't believe he reacted. I can't believe he comboed that. Sandblast. Sandblast is definitely going to be a key tool in this matchup. Drive impact. Doesn't react. He only has one bar of overdrive left, but he's built two. The XDP comes out. This is important. Remember, in this format, any damage you do is a massive win for the team. No DP comes out. Amazing combo. Back in the corner. No cross up. Great defense from Luke. And a tech to boot. He's got him burnt out. What's he going to do? On block. Here comes a super. And that's the perfect response to that. But I got to be honest. I was impressed with Sir Kaz. That defense was huge. I just think Dumb Stinker's reaction with that super was a little... Uh, I, I, I'll be honest. It was unexpected. Okay, this is this is this is crazy. In this format, I definitely it's definitely a feat if you sweep in this format, but if anybody can do it, it's looking like it's got to be Jamie here. He's he's playing a clean game of Street Fighter. Kimberly a little unsafe on block there, but great defense. Good patience. Oh, but the, everybody's patience has a meter eventually. You you're going to run out of patience eventually. Good block, but a grab, it didn't come out. Punish counter, huge damage, another grab, Street Fighter 6. Not another grab this time, instead just a light conversion combo into a super. And it combos as well, he, he's using the bar to take this. Oh my goodness. You've got to wonder, he might actually be able to go through this. I never saw it, I didn't see it happening like this, but also I couldn't have never expected this, these combos. The conversions, the defense, it's, it's all there. Great dash back, though, by Crimson. You've got to wonder. Jamie might have drive impact on the mind. Beat. Oh, my goodness. What an air-to-air -air option for a conversion. Crimson couldn't block the low there. Trying to jump out of the corner there. Probably gets grabbed. Has to look out. He might shimmy him. Jamie, there's the drive impact. Off the wall. How, why do you get that much damage off drive impact on the wall with Jamie? That is crazy. That is crazy. Jamie is clocking in. And with a full health win there, he has nothing to recover, making this a completely even experience. I never want to say when something is over because you, you learn not to believe in things being over. But with this format, I just can't see a 1v5 winner, especially when you have to go through this Jamie. But Nexus has done incredible things before. Damn, just everything has been lab, bro. Everything has been lab. He's he's taking swigs. Nexus. Keeping his space. Oh my god. Okay, find your feet, Nexus. Find your feet. He's in his alcoholic version. Oh my god. Oh my god. Blame it on the alcohol. He's four drinks in. He's not the same person he was four drinks ago. He's got him in the corner. Miss throw. Oh my goodness. It comes out. He's letting his hair down. He's don't take the deal, Nexus. He's experienced in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
And we have just seen it, folks. Jamie wins. That was a five-man sweep. That was a five-man sweep against all odds. It was a five-man sweep. He beat our ass for real. Hey, bro. There's no shame in that. That was a master rank player. Oh my God. He he his favorite is ranked matches. Bro, bro doesn't even he barely practices. My God, he's learning as he fights. Hey, I noticed you haven't liked the video yet, or maybe you have. I'm just kind of jumping in, being annoying. But uh, like and subscribe if you like fighting games. I'm trying to hit a million subscribers. Thank you. I'm just here for my boy Cricket. Oh shit. Cricket has a lot of fans. Let me have some fun. Let me have some fun. Cricket. The man with a million fans. Bro's got an audience rooting for him, but can he beat big guy, team leader? EX Sandblast, that move is crazy. Controls so much space. A jab does catch him in the middle of his windup punch though. Jump in on Ken. Couple of hits on block, has him in the corner. Drive impact, gotta be an option he's gonna go for. I knew it. Something about Cricket, I could tell he wanted it. In the corner, huge damage off a drive impact on the wall. Big grab to follow it up. Big guy in the corner, jumps away from the grab. Drive impact, but whoa. for some reason that grab just went or maybe he didn't grab. Maybe I saw it wrong. But Cricket with an amazing performance. You know his boys are popping off right now. Cricket, huge first win. Huge setting of the pace. Oh, it's the Lukening. It's Luke time. It's just a Luke on Luke action. Sandblast versus Sandblast. Keeping his space. Goes for another parry. He's, he, he knows those Sandblasts are coming. He can feel it with his Luke sense. EX Sandblast, huge. Oh, what a jump back. Had to avoid it. Rising uppercut, that means he's got plenty of time to punish. Doesn't get much, just a single hit. Oh, Dashin jumps the grab. Neutral jump, big. Finally, he's back in. He's back with some overdrive meter. Text the grab. Cricket has too many fans to lose now. But with, whoa, I didn't even know Luke had a move like that. He dodges the XDP. Corner for corner, but now he's burnt out again. And this one's going to recover real slow. This is going to be real. So Wait, a super to retaliate. What an option by the Lukening. Boom. Divorced. He's got him. Rising uppercut neutral, though. I don't know if I agree with that one. The super was sick. But the rising uppercut left him at his disadvantage. Sandblast comes out and leaves him just too available to punish. But Cricket definitely took some damage. It really was Luke time. Cricket's not going to recover all that. This is where Dev Mags has to step in. He has to say enough is enough. Cricket's got to go. What a huge super, though. That was insane. Great response. Here we go. Dev Mags with his Kimberly stepping up to the plate. He's got to find a way to put this Luke away. This is Lucas from Street. Can't find the time to punish that. No ant here. Goes for a slide. He's going to be looking for moves like that. Just quick pickups. There it is. A little bit of damage goes a long way. He doesn't, he doesn't have to land any big combos. One drive impact would be enough. Well, one drive impact combo. Oh, what a tech. What a tech. There it is. That's exactly what you want to see. Big punish with the drive gauge. Dev Max beautifully played. Was looking for that one moment. All he needed was one moment. And he found it and capitalized. You've got to appreciate Dev Max and the Lukening and Big Guy for softening Cricket up. This is the start of something beautiful. Can Kimberly keep this pace going though? Another Luke. It is Luke season. Another Platinum Luke steps up to the plate. Can Dev Max at least get half? If not, put him away too. Dev Max has seen their fair share of Lukes. Rising up, got misses again, but no time to punish. Big EX comes out in the corner. Misses a grab. Misses another grab. Oh, it's over. Luke's going in for the tackle. The bar's being spent. This in itself could be an opportunity for the next player to come up though. Sir Kaz going to finish. No need to recover any health. He didn't lose any. And now it's Nathan's turn to step up to the plate. It's like a revolving door of Luke's. But here he is. Nameless Nathan. The mod. The myth. The legend. Rome buttons out. Wants to keep that space. Sandblast. Definitely going to be a statement in this match. Comes in swinging again. Rising uppercut. The jump in pressure is just a little too crazy. here. too many options in the corner. Drive impact from Nathan. I like the option. Another. Wow. That was crazy. EX. There you go. Take a little bit of health off. Drive impact. But nice jump away. No hit from it, but the grab. He's in one grab range now. Tatsu, that's going to be punished for big damage. Couldn't get that much health off Sir Kaz, but if anybody could get out of this situation, it would be Dumb Stinker. We've seen him do the 5-0 sweep, but now is there a difference between having no pressure of being the starting person and all the pressure of being the last hope for your team? And also, he's playing Luke. Everybody's playing costume too, Luke. They love it. 
think are great. Overhead dash in. Keeping pressure up on guard. You got to wonder, is, it, is there just something different about the energy? Couldn't get an anti-air there. Jump in. Sir Kaz landing a good combo. Stinger EX is it. Jump in. Couple hits on block drive and Beck comes out. Big opportunity. You might at this point want to even blow some supers. Three bars. Can't find the option. I'm Stinker almost burnt. Another jump in lands. And this level three comes out. Is this enough? Could this be the end? It's, it is. My goodness, it is. Sir Kaz. He even said in chat, he said, I'm going to win. And he's done just that today. He's taking it. He's taking it all. He said in the chat, I, I said I like that confidence. And the confidence has come back in full. Final round. Final round. Here we go. Sir Kaz, he wants the 1v5. He wants all the smoke. But SMY is not going to go down that easy. Got him in the corner. Drive impact comes out. What's the punish? I'll take the DP. That's a good bit of damage. DP comes out from Luke as well. Perry comes out. Nothing of it. Fireball game. Back to the corner. Nowhere to run, but he doesn't want to run. He was setting him up for the back throw. Luke, unfortunately, escaped very quickly. And now he's getting his own grab off. Ryu's going to have to find the way out. Next to grab. And some medium kick. Got to play it a little slow. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Return fire. Sir Kaz wanted that smoke, but he found a, a man not afraid to throw out some drive impacts as well. Back to the corner, though. He's kind of scurrying a little bit. Drive impact comes out, but finally, response from Kaz. This might be the game. In the corner. Dash. And that guy's jamming back there. This loot costume looks like such a jabroni. People do like costume too. Honestly, once they start adding more costumes to this game, it's gonna it's gonna change the game. I don't know, man. I want like like businessman Zangief. All right, Sir Kaz already half on health. That's the power of this format here. Just because SMY didn't get the win doesn't mean his team can't appreciate what he was able to do. Has him at half health. The Lukening has played this matchup before, I think. What a parry! Perfect parry! Oh no! Oh, drive impact. No reaction to it again. Com this rushed out in the corner. Critical art available, but is this gonna kill? It just might. Three far spent. It's Luke time, but can the Lukening participate? Oh no, he burnt out into the grab. Sir Kaz takes him down. Chaos gonna have to come in here and try to stop this. You don't want to let him run too far with this. That confidence is a big deal. Chaos on the modern Luke. You'd love to see it. Those sand blasts are gonna be coming out fast. Air to air. Sir Kaz is going to take it and push through the drive impact. Rising uppercut. He's he's gaming. Dash in the corner. He loves to go for it. Nice. Air to air goes Chaos's way. And attack. Drive impact, but he couldn't go far enough. He tried to get that behind the seat of the drive impact, but you can't drive away from your problems. Oh. My God, he's mastered the rolling kick. Critical art available, but he EXTPs wide open for a punish, and that's all you need. Sir Kaz on very limited health, but he's still going to walk away with another win. Cricket has to stop him. The man with a million fans, Cricket himself. He said he won V5. He did. He created this story, but can he finish the job? Sir Kaz said he wanted the 1v5, and he's close to getting his way. EX Sandblast. Ooh. Way to play. This is the Luke Mirror match you got us. He drives it back. What an option to beat that. He saw him cock back. And now he's got him right where he wants him. Luke combos. No punish on the jump in. Sir Kaz only has a limited amount of life to his name. But he's finding all the options. He's got a couple of good looks. Pressing buttons. He's got to leave himself safe. Overextends just a little bit. But just a little bit is all Cricket needed to wrap it up. Oh, that dog is pissed. He was a, he, That dog in the background was a Sir Kaz fan. He was pissed. Now, while Sir Kaz didn't get the win, nobody can be mad at him. Bro got a lot of wins for his team and then got some damage on top of that. That's all you can ask for out of a team lead. Ken Master is going to step up to the play here. Big guy. Big guy on campus. Big guy in the custom room. Ooh, left himself a little open, but drive impact. Didn't get there in time. Fireball game going to beat out the EX Sandblast up until the second one. Don't underestimate that move. Ooh, nice. Got him in the corner. Drive impact. It's big time. Ooh. No super comes out. Didn't want to spend the meter. Fireball. Fireball. Play that game. Play that game. You've got all the overdrive meter in the world, Ken. Learn how. you got to use it. Let him sit in that uncomfortability. Dashes in. The cricket. Seen it one too many times. 
Low on health and low on meter. He's got nothing to his name, and Ken's going to make the most of it. We've definitely hit the strong suit. Oh, here we go. The man that once 1v5'd an entire lobby with one health bar. He had one health bar and five Coronas in his pocket, and he 1v5'd a lobby with it. Can he do it again for his team? His name is Dumb Stinker, and he's never let anybody out of the corner. Oh, oh my goodness. One health left on Ken. EXDP could come out at any time, but he doesn't find the way. He starts it off with a perfect. It's the final round. Can Austin get a bit of damage on Stinker? At this point, you've got to start thinking that you've got three characters on your team. You might as well use it. Once again in the corner, Drive Impact at least gets him out of there. But the jump in goes unpunished. He's tearing through his health bar. A super comes out, but that... Oh, it actually lands! It auto-corrected! Or did it? Did, I, did my eyes see that correctly? Austin with the insane performance. He's going to get some damage off on him. Now he's going to play the fireball game. I don't disagree. Make him come to you. Play that game. If nothing else, get some health off of him. Get some meter off of him. Oh, big whiff. That's all you need. A little bit of time. And Stinker's going to find a way in. Huge pummel. That's going to be the round. But I can't fault My Austin. He got some damage off. Weird. This is crazy. How much of that health is he going to regen? Will it even look like Austin left a mark? I actually don't know. But here he is. The man, the myth. Nexus himself. And on Marisa too. So he has those armor moves to get some damage. And there it is. The armor moves. Even if he can't walk away with the win. Which he very well might. At least he's going to get his. He going to get his before he get got. That's for sure. Oh. But then again, Dumb Stinker, one drive bar to his name. He's using it to dash in. He's not afraid of the burnout. He goes all in all the time. He's got three bars. He knows to use it now. He, he's trying to build up some extra bar. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Counter that. Hold that. Hold this. In the corner. Half your health bar left. Starts with a low. It's the mix. One mix left. You get grabbed. Now it's really a one-touch game. What do you got? Text it. Jump in. No armor on it. He's wide open. Dash in. Thumb sticker. While he is a little bit hurt, it just, I don't know. I don't know if that is enough. But YP Stoic definitely has the health lead. The Diamond Ryu, we've seen him play. He can play a clean game. He's got to find a way to clutch up. Stinker missing a little bit of health, but I think he's just evened it up with that. Air to air. You've got to block. Lowe's coming at you fast. Stick out a jumping medium. Nobody can blame you for that. In the corner, this is where we've seen things go awry. Jamie's pressure jumps away from the drive impact, though. A great reaction and huge damage off the combo. Ryu definitely in the driver's seat of this match now. Jamie finds a way to sneak in a little drink. An amazing air-to-air -air option. How does he do it? How does he react? Onus is on YP to find a way out of this corner again. Dash in. He's going to do it with offense. Jamie's burnt out, but has the combo priority. Off the ground. You've only got a limited time. Misses the grab, but finds another one to take the game. And clutches up for his team. He does it again with four wins in a row. And in this format, it cannot be understated just how hard to do that is. Wow.